Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. It's Carol Baskin and Lisa Hello. Spencer Novak. Here Hi, for... everybody. <laughs> Singing Sunday. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I always forget you get used to knowing the things that you know and your own routine. And I forget that some of our other keepers don't even know that this goes on, really, because <laughs> some of them don't usually come in on Sunday. So... We had a keeper here who is not a regular Sunday person, and she saw me loading up Carol's cart, and she said, what are you doing? <laughs> not every day you take it's a like, piano Of course, somewhere. singing Sunday. What else? <laughs> what, you've never seen a keyboard before <laughs> in a sanctuary? So, yeah, it's funny. We're having a very warm day today, but luckily a very nice breeze coming through from time to time, so that's kept it pretty nice for everybody, cats included. Hi, Edith. I'm just driving. She's driving. I'm talking. All right. We are going to Mala. <laughs> and actually, if you want to stop by the cabin, I'm going to take her a sickle. Because okay. I think that will Maybe you can tell people keep about her the happy. Cabin and the yeah. Cabin. So we're on our way to the enrichment cabin. And that is where, um, if any of you out there have been on a keeper tour, you'll be familiar with this. But it's where we um, make the enrichment for the cats in the form of perfume tubes, spice bags, or sickles. And sickles are really important right now um, because it's so hot. So it's another way to have the cats get hydrated and it's a nice treat for them. Just like for us, we don't always, even though we know water is good for us and it's gonna hydrate us, um, you know, we'd rather have a popsicle. It's just a little tastier. So the flavors are a little different, however, for the cats than what you or I might enjoy. So. We have blood sickles and tuna sickles and chicken sickles, that sort of thing. So I'm getting Nala a blood sickle. So are we gonna, are we gonna give him the inside view here? Sure. And I'm gonna put the gloves on too, that's a big, you notice I'm putting gloves on. That's a big part of the process whenever you're handling anything that the cats are going to eat. So I'm gonna notice I also have my mask on. So what this does for the cats is, if you don't already know this, cats are very scent stimulated. The way things smell is very interesting to them. So this is a, a, just another form of enrichment to keep them, um, you know, interested and en enrich their lives. So they're like this with the same day in and day out. This is the freezer. It's a full-size freezer. And this is where the symbols are. It looks so like we're her planning her. for a party here. <laughs> it's like maybe these. Hello shot. That's a blood sickle, and that's a Nala size. Nala is a serval, so if you were going out to a tiger, this is a tiger size. Tiger is above my pay grade. <laughs> I'm not there yet. So we also, this is all the supplies. This is where there's a blender when we do tuna or chicken, anything like that. Um, you put the canned meat in or fish, whatever it is, and fill the rest of the way with water and you blend it. That's why nobody yeah. borrows our blender. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is going to make Nala very happy. So I will do this first, and then I will unglove and set up the keyboard. That's <laughs> the best way to, best order to do things. All right. Should I you got it. Got a little quick, quick tutorial there. And it unfortunately just was, I didn't have a good poop day today. Not me personally, but as a keeper, um, I just didn't, I didn't find so well today. So just, that happens sometimes. And people have been asking about Gilligan. Gilligan is doing so much better that he was supposed to go back out to his enclosure, which we're passing here yesterday but he wouldn't go in the transport cage. Ah, uh, okay. So today I expected that they would catch him at breakfast time and they didn't catch him again. So Jamie uh, told me to rig up a rope with a guillotine door so we can drop the door from like two blocks away. Oh. So he doesn't get suspicious, <laughs> but he's ready to come back outside. He's so smart. He looks so good. I've been going and checking on him in his outdoor area. 
So if if they're successful, he will definitely be the cat next week. So chased by a bobcat. Yes. Oh, you're gonna get us. It's good. You're getting us. All right, it's Milo back here. She How is. Yeah, her? right. This gate right here is good. Okay. She could be any number of places. <laughs> yes, I'm not sure. You know, where I saw her last, if that's where she still is. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this stuff over the fence. Right now, give her the signal. Come on, where she is. It is important when you deal with the cats to keep your focus on what you're doing. Um, they, they are still wild cats even though they're in enclosures. So that's a, a really important process, part of the protocol when you get trained. She thinks it's a trick. Hey Paula, hey Edith. Hey Audra and Susan. Lisa will be putting on a speaker so that we can hear her a little bit better. I know you guys have trouble hearing us because of the masks, and she usually takes her mask off when she sings, so you should be able to hear her more clearly than you're hearing us right now as soon as she gets her keyboard all set up. i got to be careful I don't back into Max and Mary Ann. Hey, Noir. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I'm bringing out all this equipment. I am so out of here. I was hoping the sickle might help. All right, so the song of the day is called Where is Love? And this is from the musical Oliver, and it's based on the novel Oliver Twist. And if you're familiar with that, he's an orphan who is searching for his mother. So that's the theme of this song.
He said, Nala's an expert at being a cat. <laughs> but she was turning an ear your way. And you know, I never take it personally when the cats react that way. I think just the fact that she's calm and, you know, I want to make and she this... could have gone so far to Absolutely. get away. Absolutely, and I do want to make this point, Carol, because I know I always go home and read the comments um, later in the day after I'm done you know, with this, doing it live. And every once in a while I'll see a comment about people seeming to be worried that we're stressing the cat out or something like that. And I just want everybody to understand that she is absolutely free. She has choice. Trust me, I walked her enclosure today looking for poop, so it's big. <laughs> she has many places that she could go. She is in no way trapped here. Um, we did offer a small bribe in the form of a sickle, but other than that, she does not have to say where she is. She is free to go far, far away from us if that's what she chooses to do. So I think that's the biggest asset of the cats being here in a sanctuary, not in a zoo, is it's all about choice. Um, in the zoo, it's usually not the case. Uh, so sanctuaries offer them choice. I don't even know possible. how many cages she has. Probably four, she maybe. <laughs> four or five cages that are each 1,200 square feet. <laughs> yeah, I always say if somebody comes, you know, with this comment, I invite them to come when it's 90 degrees and carry a metal pole and a bucket <laughs> and walk in all this enclosure. <laughs> so thank you all very much for being here today. And um, next week, hopefully, you'll again yes. first crossed. <laughs> and have a perfectly awesome week. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, read that link by that Deb just gave you there, bigcatrescue.org slash go free.